The continuous evolution of BVR missile technology has brought platforms such as the MBDA Meteor, the AIM-120D AMROM, and China's PL-15 to the forefront of global air power doctrine, with each missile reflecting the distinct military-industrial sophistication, operational doctrine, and strategic intent of the nations that developed them. Almost a decade has passed since the People's Liberation Army pulled the trigger on President Xi Jinping's plans for a massive overhaul of the world's biggest military. In the eighth of a series on Chinese weapons systems, we look at the country's advanced air-to-air -air missile. It was not until the combat debut of the PL-15E during a skirmish between Pakistan and India last week that the capabilities of the Chinese-made air-to-air missile were truly put to the test after years of speculation by observers abroad. For decades, Chinese-made air-to-air missiles were believed to be imitations of Western designs. But the recent deployment of the PL-15E by the Pakistan Air Force serves as a fresh reminder that the strengths of China's air-to-air -air missile systems alongside a growing fleet of advanced fighter aircraft, can no longer be ignored. In the modern battle space, where engagements are often decided long before opposing aircraft enter visual range, beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles have become the central instruments of aerial dominance, strategic deterrence, and power projection. These long-range precision-guided weapons have fundamentally transformed the conduct of air combat, shifting the focus from traditional dogfighting to preemptive, network-enabled engagements driven by sensors, data links, and command fusion. Far from being mere tools of tactical advantage, these missiles now serve as critical enablers of geostrategic influence playing an increasingly prominent role in the balance of power calculations across regions as volatile and strategically contested as the Indo-Pacific, the Taiwan Strait, the South China Sea, Eastern Europe, and beyond. In essence, BBR missiles today are as much about controlling the narrative of airspace superiority as they are about defeating enemy aircraft, and their development and deployment remain pivotal in shaping the outcome of future high-intensity conflicts. The recent escalation between Pakistan and India, which brought both nuclear-armed neighbors to the brink of full-scale war, marked a significant shift in the nature of warfare between the two countries. For the first time, French-made 4.5-gen Rafale fighter jets operated by India were down in combat. Unlike previous conflicts, Pakistan did not rely on US-supplied weaponry, while India has increasingly shifted from Russian arms to equipment sourced from Western countries. The development is viewed not just as a Pakistan-India engagement, but as a real-world proxy test of Chinese versus Western military technology potentially fueling new competition in the global arms market and drawing diplomatic attention from Paris, Washington, and NATO-aligned states. Several analysts have highlighted the Air Force engagements, with some pointing to the possible role of Chinese-supplied PL-15 air-to-air missiles perhaps being the difference maker. India's Air Force, equipped with a mix of Russian Su-30 MKIs, French Rafales, and indigenous Tejas fighters, relies on a diverse arsenal of air-to-air -air missiles. The indigenous Astra MK-1, with a range of 62 to 75 miles, and the European MBDA Meteor, exceeding 124 miles on Rafale jets, are key components. The Meteor, with its ramjet propulsion, is considered one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles globally, offering superior maneuverability in no escape zones compared to the PL-15. However, the PL-15's extended range provides Pakistani pilots the ability to engage Indian aircraft from safer distances, potentially offsetting the technological edge of India's more advanced platforms. Images shared on social media show a section of the missile's fuselage with visible serial markings and a seeker test port. Another image appears to show the missile's seeker head, equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar, known for improved tracking and resistance to jamming. The PL-15, developed by China's Aviation Industry Corporation, is a long-range, radar-guided missile designed to engage high-value airborne targets at ranges exceeding 200 kilometers. PL-15 is China's standard active radar-guided AAM, and it was intended to at least match the performance of the US-made AIM-120D Advanced Medium-Range Air-to-Air -air Missile AMROM. The domestic version in use of the Chinese military has a reported range of between 300 to 500 kilometers. The Pakistan Air Force released visuals on April 26 showing JF-17 armed with PL-15E and PL-10 missiles. Pakistan's fleet includes an estimated 45 to 50 JF-17 Block 3 and 20 J-10C approximately 70 aircraft capable of deploying the PL-15E. 
The missile's guidance system includes inertial navigation, beta satellite updates, a two-way data link, and ESA radar terminal homing. It features a dual-pulse solid rocket motor and can reach speeds exceeding Mach 5. The warhead, typically high explosive fragmentation, weighs between 20 to 25 kilograms. The weapon may have been sourced directly from China's People's Liberation Army Air Force, a claim not independently verified. While Pakistan officially confirmed the use of Chinese-made J-10C fighter jets from Chengdu in the downing of Indian Rafales, it has not specified the munitions used. However, fragments of a PL-15 missile were reportedly recovered from a field near Hoshiarpur in India's Punjab state, potentially marking the first known use of the Chinese missile in active combat. The development comes after two U.S. officials told Reuters that a Chinese-made Pakistani fighter aircraft was responsible for shooting down at least two Indian military jets, underscoring a major operational milestone for Beijing's advanced fighter systems. A senior French intelligence official also confirmed to CNN that at least one Indian Air Force Dassault Rafale jet had been down during the skirmish with the Pakistan Air Force. The debris discovery adds pressure to regional air defense planning and underscores shifting dynamics in South Asia's arms landscape. India's diversified procurement contrasts with Pakistan's increasingly centralized reliance on Chinese systems. Chinese state media have highlighted the PL-15 ES export readiness and advanced production lines. The system's presence in an active conflict may provide China with operational feedback and expand its influence in the global arms market. Neither China nor Pakistan has commented on the missile's appearance. The deployment of the Chinese-made PL-15 missile in South Asia presents a direct technological counter to Western systems like the USAIM 120D AMRAAM and France's Meteor missile. While the Meteor is widely regarded as superior in terms of no escape zones and sustained propulsion via ramjet, the PL-15's longer range and advanced ESA guidance give it a strategic edge in first launch scenarios particularly when fired from standoff ranges.